all of you. Our topic today is very simple about Muhammad being the God. In the same time, how the Muslims accuse Muhammad to be crazy and he lost his mind. In chapter 53, verse number 3, Muhammad claimed that his God said that Muhammad he speak nothing except the words of God which mean Muhammad, whatever he say, is coming from God, even if he make a normal statement, not necessarily Quran. This is why the Muslims believe that Muhammad is someone, they call him in Arabic, Masum. Masum means that he is protected from error, so he do not do any error. However, this is a very stupid statement to say, because even the Quran, chapter of at tahrim verse number one, it says that Muhammad, he made verses against the will of Allah, which mean he error. However, the Muslims, they are stubborn and they don't want to believe that Muhammad, he is just a normal man who uh, error. They want to believe he is the man, but who is God in the same time. So, وَمَا يَنْتُقُوا عَنِ الْهَوَى Chapter 53, verse number 3. If we click at any translation, we will see the following. Read carefully with me. Nor does he so out of his own desire. So nothing he say, Muhammad, when he talk, it's God talking. Nothing of his own desire. Even if Muhammad, if he say to his wife, kiss me, no, this is not Muhammad talking. It's Allah talking. Muhammad never make errors. Muhammad, the perfect man. But the Quran says that Muhammad is a sinner and Allah, he forgive your past sin and the coming sin to come. I mean, how stupid the statement is. However, this is not really my topic. We can get Muhammad busted from the Quran that he is a big time sinner. And the Quran saying that I forg may Allah forgive to thee your past and your coming uh, sin. Uh, okay. All right, let's see. Uh, all right. Oops, I'm typing in English. Sorry. I'm using a plastic keyboard in the top of my keyboard. Uh, so the Quran says clearly that Muhammad, Allah, he may, may he, maybe. I mean, that's not necessarily. He is going to forgive him, you know, uh, about his sin. And there is many verses actually uh, speaking about the sin of Muhammad. But, you know, it says here, And ask Allah for forgiveness for your sin and for the sin of the believers. This is a chapter of what? Chapter of Muhammad, as you see. So Allah speaking to who supposedly here? Must be speaking to Muhammad. So ask Allah for forgiveness for your sin and the sin of the believers. So how, it, how they say, you know, I mean, he, uh, he he never makes sense. And look at the first translation here. It says, forgiveness for your fault. And every Muslim who speaks Arabic knows that this is not a fault. It says sin. If we change the translator, let's see. Hmm. See? It is a sin. So, if Muhammad is perfect and he don't make any error and he don't uh, speak anything but from... Uh, it's all coming from God, as the, the previous verse said. How here it says that uh, ask for forgiveness of your sin and the sin of the believing women. Anyway, this is not really even my topic. This is just an introduction to get Muhammad busted. If we go here, this is a hadith about Muhammad in the element of death. As you know, Muslims, they claim that Muhammad do not know how to write, how to read. And for sure, this is a very stupid statement. We can... We can debunk it very easy. The Quran, when Quran called Muhammad Ummi, does not mean he did not know how to write, how to read, but because the dumb Muslims, they do not know what the difference between Ummi as someone illiterate about the book of God and someone illiterate about writing and reading. And the Quran never spoke about Muhammad as illiterate, for he do not know how to read, how to write. As you see here in chapter 2, verse number 78, it says, Translation. You You see, I'm using the Muslim translation. You see how nice I am for the Muslim? Unbelievable. So, and from, read me, 
and the, from them literate, all right, who know not the book. So who is the literate according to Islam? Is the one who do not know the book. So the stupid Muslims, because they are disconnected with the religion, and you know they are copy paste from each other. And by the way, there's many Muslims that agree with those who say Muhammad do not know how to write, how to read. I have to be honest about this. There's many Muslims, they believe strongly that this verse, as I said, it says that Muhammad is literate because he did not know. Uh, he, he, know he was coming from a pagan family. And, uh, you know, this is why, uh, you know, Muhammad uh, in the Quran says it clearly that he, he know not what is faith? Uh, what, what do you mean he don't he know uh, he know not what is faith? Uh, simply he had no faith, you know. Okay. If we go here, all right, you will see right away how the Quran speak of Muhammad that he is a person who have no faith, and he do not know what the book is. He have no revelation. He had no faith, and this is why he was called illiterate. Here we go. وكذلك أوحينا إليك روحا من أمرنا وما كنت تدري ما الكتاب ولا الإيمان. Let us see the translation. Forty-two, fifty-two. All right. And thus we have. Uh, uh, have we our command? It's actually, the fact doesn't say command. It says a spirit sent inspiration to thee though knows not before what was revelation and what was faith and here this verse will get the muslims abdul muhammad and busted when they lie to us saying that muhammad he used to be abrahamic because if muhammad is abrahamic he do not know the faith of islam don't they say that abraham is a muslim don't they say that jesus was a muslim moses was a muslim so what do you mean he do not know what the faith so Muhammad, he did not know what is revelation. He never heard of revelation given to Abraham. He never heard of teaching given from God to Abraham. And he never heard or never have any faith. So he was what? A communist? Atheist? What is that? However, it's very clear proof that Muhammad, he was knowing nothing. This is why he was called illiterate. And this is why the Christians and the Jews called the people of the book. Not because all of them, they knew how to write, how to read. But as I said, Muslims are, you know, so slow. Their mind never been used. So Christians are people of the book, for they have a book. The rest are called illiterate. This is why the Quran dividing between Christians and Jews as people of the book, even though they are not the same. But Quran called them both people of the book, and call anyone else, in many verses, illiterate. Now here. We go back when Muhammad was in the element of death. Muhammad, he said, uh, "Come here, come near, <coughs> come here." <coughs> he used to smoke hashish. I will write for you something which you will not go astray. And you know, some of them, i.e., the companions, said, "Allah Messenger, seriously ill." <laughs> uh, and you have the Holy Quran, hello, you know, which means Muhammad. They are saying that Muhammad is stupid. Actually, Omar he said, Ahajar al Rasul, Ahajar al Rasul, which means Muhammad he lost his mind. So don't listen to him. So imagine, guys, in the in the element of death, uh, they are saying that Muhammad he lost his mind. But we just saw the verses speaking that Muhammad he speak nothing of his own. You know, chapter fifty three, verse number three, and this is Tafsir al Jalalain. Nothing he speak, but it's coming from God. And especially now here, we are talking about Muhammad is speaking about guidance. He's talking about religion, not like about making shish kebab or falafel. So this is about God. Why the Muslims do not take into consideration what the Quran says that he speak nothing of his own? Why they said to him, shut up, you are just a sick person dying and you are losing your mind. We don't want to listen to you. Why they said to him, we have the Quran and that's enough. What if you want to give you more Quran? How they knew that that's no more Quran to come? He want to write for them something important. Maybe he received inspiration from Allah at that moment. And obviously it must be some... So either the Muslims here, they had to accept that Muhammad went crazy in the last time of his life. 
and the Muslims notice that this is why they ignore him they don't respect him no more and they are insulting him and the guy is asking for something to write so he can write for them or they have to accept that Muhammad is a false prophet and here you will notice as long Muslims they believe that Muhammad do not know how to write how to read then how he say here uh, come here I will write for you something all right what do you mean you will write for them something what do you mean what do you mean you will write write what I thought Muhammad do not know and look what here what, what they say here the answer of the Muslim they do not say to him oh you do not know even how to write no look what they say some of them said give him man give him give him something to write material writing so he might write for you something they did not say okay tell us what you want us to write no they said give him to write so how he don't know how to write as they keep repeating like a like a like a recording machine but he is saying give me something to write and then they said okay give him something to write he cannot write anyway write what this is how you know crazy those muslims and you show it to them at a thousand times still you are speaking to concrete garbage in garbage out the important here in this uh, in this hadith proving many things that muhammad knows how to write how to read same time uh the the muslims accuse him that he is uh, he lost his mind actually if you go in different uh, you know uh, in different translation here like your translation is not really uh, is not honest all right let me show you the, 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 the accurate translation in better hadith okay see it is sahih al-bukhari okay you will see how they say you see he is in a state of unconsciousness so they accuse Muhammad that he lost his mind they accuse him literally that we should not listen to him for he is he lost he's just he's crazy don't listen to him he's just an old stupid guy he say things you don't mean don't listen to him all right and you will notice here it says they say which mean all of them they agree that Muhammad is suffering from mental issue at that stage they who the companion who is around Muhammad at that time nobody the companion I mean actually he is now supposedly their king and who is going to be in the house of the king when he died the most close people to him you know so don't listen to him he is just a stupid fool who is dying and he say things you don't understand you know so obviously in the uh, at the last time of Muhammad life or the last uh, few maybe a year or, two or so Muhammad was suffering from mental illness and the Muslims don't listen to him no more and as you see here most likely like what Muhammad is going to write for them which is not going to make them go astray you know what I mean what is that anyone can tell me it must be Quran so Muhammad now is receiving Quran from his God but yet the Muslims don't want to take the Quran because they believe Muhammad is in a stage of losing his mind and he is now a crazy stupid idiot who was before you know but now they are sure they the Muslims are sure you know so they don't want uh, so look here here they mentioned that the one who said uh, Omar is the one who said you know he said that uh, you know go away leave him alone you know it's not right you should uh, you know look at this <laughs> look at this hadith here I mean it's a disaster let me uh, all right. yeah Omar said the Prophet seriously ill so the, even Omar he is making fun of him and he is claiming that Muhammad he lost his mind so we should not listen to him and don't worry don't take anything from him we do not know the new Quran I mean it's a stupid of Muhammad to say I will write for you something which you will not go astray after this because what the Quran was for then all the Quran was nothing still they will go astray you see the second Muhammad he said let me write for something something for you so you will not go astray he agreed that the Quran is not the book of guidance 
what he was going to write at that moment, it was going to be the book of guidance. Everything before it was hummus, shish kebab, falafel, and it used to be useless. And when the companion, they, they, couldn't, they did not like what he said. I mean, are you stupid? What are you talking about? So what the Quran for? Now you want to give us something, you know, like what's wrong with him? Look, look, look. Some, they say, what's wrong with him? <laughs> what's wrong with you, man? <laughs> hey, Muhammad, what's wrong with you, man? Are you, are you, you are going crazy, really, huh? Did you take some hashish? So I wanted to share this with you because those information all together, you put it together, you will understand the situation of Muhammad and his companion. It's just a bunch of gangs. They are waiting for him to die so they can take over. And I believe Omar was worried that maybe Muhammad will write something and that will affect Islam in general and will destroy his position and the positions of the companions. Maybe he will say, none of you should inherit uh, my job. Maybe he will say, he, may, you know, he will give them a verse from Allah, suppose they say, shish kebab, habab kebab, shish kebab, Omar is not good. And Abu Bakr is not good, and Allah He said those nuns they should not be caliphate after me. So they were worried. What he will write for us, so they don't want him to talk. And you will see that the statement here is very clear about not to, to go astray. So it was a very important statement. And either Muhammad was inspired from God, and the Muslims dumped the most important part of the Quran which was Muhammad going to write or they have to accept that Muhammad is a crazy man so either they accept the Quran never been completed and Muhammad wanted to complete the most important part and never completed or Muhammad lost his mind and he was not a prophet of God because why God will let that happen to Muhammad to lose his mind in the last of uh, his life? He's a prophet of God. He should be conscious for the last second of his life. Losing the mind of someone he claimed to be a prophet he is a very clear proof that he have no protection from God. You see, you can get sick, no problem, but at least your, his, the brain, can't Allah protect his brain from being damaged? Obviously, he cannot. Thank you very much for watching. Share it, download it. And don't forget to give it a like if you like what we do. This is a Christian Prince with you. And always if you contact me or you like to contact me or if you are a Muslim, you dare to debate me, you, you will see the link under the video. Feel free to contact me there. Christ is Lord. Islam is made by a false man for the false and dumb man. Thank you very much.